Banner University Medicine is dedicated to bringing the best medical care to the Tucson community. Our newest hospital is designed with your health in mind. With 228 private patient rooms, 22 operating rooms, and more than $50 million in patient care technology, your care and comfort are our top priority. Banner University Medicine, making Tucson's future brighter and your visits easier. Now open at 1625 North Campbell Avenue, online at bannerhealth.com slash University Tucson. Gentlemen, you're listening to the show that kicks ass, chews bubble gum, and dances at the same time. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show, broadcasting live and worldwide from the epicenter of cool Brooklyn, New York. Thank you for joining us today. With his co-host, Jaja, right here in Brooklyn. I was getting to that. And let me tell you folks, when I put the glasses on, I don't see Anunnaki. I see New World Order agents in the media, in the Hollywood Nazi industrial complex. I see them everywhere, folks, and it's time to expose them, right, Ja? Absolutely. Absolutely. Liebensborn city, man. It's mania. Liebensborn mania. I'm going to say Lieben everything these days. That's right. That's why they got rid of Hulk Hogan. They got rid of Hulkamania, and they brought in Le- Nazi mania, Liebens mania, right? Everybody's even... um. What's a face? That Roddy lady was doing that. That Randy Roddy, Ronda Rowdy, who yeah, looks the like the one that's got all the all the truthers Rowdy in their in their underloins, right? They're all tweeting about it. Well, right? I don't. I don't really pay attention to what other people are tweeting and what's in their under. under you got you got to keep up with the blogosphere, Jack. Come on. Yeah, you but know, you got to keep up. It's listen. the art of war. You keep your enemies close on Twitter. Okay, but I don't <laughs> follow what what other men are getting hot for. How about speaking that? of that? Uh, Roddy Roddy Piper died, and as soon as he dies, this Rowdy Roddy Rowdy Ronda R- Ronda shows up. I mean, yeah, The Rock was flashing her at WrestleMania, having her beat up uh, Stephanie McMahon or whatever, and that's exactly what this fat old white man debate last night on Fox News was all about, right? Just uh, all these uh, just Liebensborn, all these Liebensmania, they're all Heiling Hitler, Well, right? you can say that, yes. Yeah, we'll get into Rand Paul and how he Heiled Hitler, but you can see right off the bat, the colors of the Nazi party are what? Well, black and red. Yeah. So everybody... And my old high school colors were black and red. I mean, I'm a Nazi. I don't know, <laughs> but maybe maybe the, the founders of your, your school were. Well, maybe oh, the they rulers. definitely were. That portfolio really pissed me off. Let's get to that, but again, what do you think? You think uh, it's you, a show? You th- but wait, do you think Blackwater killed the wrestler Roddy Roddy Piper? No, you I think th- he joined them. He just faked his death and joined them. It looked weird. You like you he's said, got a very German chin. Yeah, you know, if they want to disappear because they have a you know a tired career and they want to put their feet up and play some video games and stop being a slave to the Call CIA. Duty, right? What? Play some Call, call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah, and they, you know, they don't want to be a slave to the CIA, you know, because they're born, Liebman's born, and the CIA protects their, their identity, and they have them dancing like puppets, you know, and that's, if they want to do that, then, you know, that's that's how it, they, that's what happened with Rhonda. I'm sure that she's a replacement. Yeah, what a coincidence. She's just now using that guy's uh, uh, nickname. Right at the same time he dies, it's trending worldwide. Yeah, it's almost like within two days, and and it was. See, the thing is, is that it was pushed. Predictive programming. It was pushed by the same people, those info horse people. Yeah, by the social engineers. They're the new social engineers. First, they had this Roddy guy on, and then they had then they were talking about him, and he's like, an, you know, like uh, exposes the truth, right? All of a sudden, then he's gone, he's dead, and you said he was so healthy. 
He said he was like in good condition, 61. There's no real... Uh, well, you seen what he did to Goldust in WrestleMania. He kicked his ass all over the parking lot. He even got run over by a car and still got up and chased him on the 91 freeway. I mean, Roddy Roddy Piper was a badass. So then, like, if you go to Netflix, the, one of the most trending movies is They Live, his movie, right? Exactly. So, so you went to Netflix and saw, oh, his movie is right here. So as soon as he died... They started pushing it became a cult, It became even more of a cult classic. I mean, we know John Carpenter directed the film, the same guy that directed uh, Halloween. And, again, we that was probably the original. Caitlyn Jenner was there, was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, right? Yeah, she was a hermaphrodite. <laughs> that was uh, Kanye West's original girlfriend right there. Yeah, I don't know about that. She's more like his mother. She's, so She's his mother. But, um, yeah, but a lot of Illuminati symbolism in that They Live film. What did you think of that? I mean, he puts well, the glasses on, and he's walking around, and you know, a normal sign that's about computers tells you to obey. And then a sign of, of a woman on a, on a beach turns into, uh, he puts the glasses on, and it just goes black and white, and it says, reproduce and marry. I mean, that's kind of quite the contrary of the... New World Order's agenda, actually. They they wanted to push that for a while, and now they, according to the Georgia Guidestones, they want to keep us under 500 million, this population control, and they want to, they want to like Huckabee said, put us in the, in the ovens. Well, yeah, well, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> but, you know, Shepard Ferry um, did that poster for Obama that said, Obey. Right. And, you know, that guy, that artist, he, I looked into his work and I'd seen his, um, in smaller art shows and different art fairs, so Masonic. I mean, he, absolutely, it was, it was, he used the masonry symbols in his artwork. So for me, he was just given a script again, like all of the rest of these freaking artists. All these freaking Liebensborn, and right? And Liebensborn, um, like Jeff Koons Hashtag and Damien Harris and Tracy Emin and what happens is that this looks like it was a script already. You know, it was out there. Totally. It was in the in the vortex, in the obey thing. And the fact that it was there, it was so many years ago. That film was from what, the 70s? 1988. 88? So and it depicts perfectly how TV is like a directed LED, like, energy weapon. You know, yeah, just, yeah. The Himmler just, thing with the sound. Exactly. Yeah. Did you see how in the movie exactly when... When that uh, static fuzz came on, the the people would get headaches. They're like, oh, you know, after this guy's telling, them, trying to heighten their consciousness towards the the establishment, the, the their brain starts hurting because you know they want to read People magazine and TMZ and be low information idiots. That's right. Yeah, and so Himmler um, came up with the signal, and the signal is supposed to be hypnotic and interfering and controlling. That's right. And it's kind of like directed energy. I mean, that's why they say that about your TV. I mean, we don't have a TV here. I can't stand it. So, but yeah. No, it's so folks, no, uh, no uh, Vizios for uh, Bruce, Bruso over here. But it's very, <laughs> it's very, very predictive. And it's a script. And all of these people that are in these, positions and I see them as a CIA hired positions and the reason why I say that they own fame they own the movies they own they run Hollywood they, they own art now they, they own even art, took over your music your genre of work they've been on the music with Laurel Canyon and Midnight Climax they use it, it as a propaganda weapon they I mean use you, it see, as a propaganda you see you see you see Hitlery Clinton now snapping selfies with a troll and a gay fish it's ridiculous it's a weapon for all the low information dum dums. Well, it keeps them, enter, you know, it keeps them engaged. It's their bread and circus. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The Roman bread and circus. It gives them a position. They play. They're 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 just like soldiers. They're no different than being on the front, and they are in the front line, exactly. and they are working. They're not working from their insides out. They're working from their outsides in. They're being told what to say. Even their lyrics have been sterilized and scripted and written. Yeah, Pre-made, put, put in a freaking microwave, pre-packaged. What, what was it? We were talking about Whitney last week, and then we... That's right. And then we caught up with some um, Prince of Bel-Air. We caught this... We, we saw Whoa, something else. dude. 
No way. What was that? That was <laughs> that was actually thing. an episode. It's just a perfect example of predictive programming. A episode of uh, the Pr- Fresh Prince of Bel Air where he's talking to Carlton or somebody. Hey man, what happened to your Whitney Houston uh, poster, man? I guess who the hell puts a poster up in a bathroom? He said, "Oh, it it fell apart in the bathroom." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Another another instance of. Just predictive, boule, Illuminati programming. Yeah. It's like it's been discussed because we talked about how Eminem had it. In I mean, song. I think she was a blood sacrifice. Roddy Piper, on the other hand, I don't think so. I think he went off and, you know, he, he started working communications for Blackwater. You know what I mean? You saw how he, he wielded a, a gun on... Uh, oh, yeah, no, he <laughs> was... In, he in was Live. He, you, looked, he looked like he was military trained. Well, you're the man that's really, you know... To decide that, but yeah, I really thought I thought it was slick. He looked like he was a really good actor, but all these guys follow a script. So if they get tired or their face starts looking rotty, you know, rotty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like little too many wrinkles. Yeah, you. They gotta. You pulled a funny. They got. They got. <laughs> they gotta just. She said a funny. Disappear, you know. It's what my they, splinter voice. They could do a Bill Hicks, you know, become an Alex Jones, you know, do one of these, you know, oh, flip flops. Oh, oh, oh. Now. uh we don't know about that yet. Yeah, but, that's uh, not necessarily uh, true. But he is. Let's said not he was. give this guy. Look, let's not give this guy enough uh, plugs. Okay, we know what he is. You said what he is. I'm not contesting it. But you know, even on our talk stream live page, they're plugging this guy's brain fart force and this guy's just uh, snake oil uh, child hallucinogens he's selling. You know what I mean? It's so, sold out, so. Oh, it's sold child out. Child ease is sold out. Right, and you now, can't and get now it he's if you want to ease and now your he's child. running, running out of the country. You don't even know if the the feds probably came down to kick down his door. Probably it, like what happened? Know, but, what happened in Canada? What, what do you have on his computer? I mean, well, yeah, this okay, guy but I'm goes, just, going to Toronto. I don't know about these guys. But what I'm concerned about is that. He's doing an Operation Mockingbird on you, says Liebensborn Bartol. Ah, uh, don't they Because, all. and there he is running around being a um, a good Liebensborn in Germany with his Knights of Malta friends. What? I mean, not, he... not Germany, I mean, I mean, uh, Italy. Hey, he, Knights... he'll probably end up there. How do you know he, he probably showed up at home, at the homeland first. Yo, touched down what's, there. What's up with all <laughs> And then this? went back to uh, his Tavistock, uh, Tavistock Institute handlers in England. Yeah, what's up with the mentioning of their homeland from Joe Biggs and also from last night with even Chris, Chris Christie? Yeah, even Chris Krispy Kreme Chris Christie who looks fatter than ever. No, he does to all not. Those guys. He does not. He, okay, looks, he looks fatter like than other people, but he's not a fat. Huge obese. He lost a pig lot of weight. Who has some nerve to tell people who who smoke pot that they have no uh, control over the no have no self control. You know, I wonder how many Big Macs. Chris Krispy Kreme eats. You know, he probably makes like a Krispy Kreme donut McDonald's special. You know, the buns are freaking Krispy Kreme donuts. So that much fat lardy blub of tub of lard, tub of Lieben's lard. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Another we, thing I noticed we, we in that, in that, grand, we got his grandfather was like Friedrich Christensen. I right, was like, right. yo, Chris Christie, that ain't a real name. I went looking, look at there's a you Nazi named Friedrich Christensen. Looks just like him. All right, but another thing I noticed in that uh, fat old white men debate on uh, Fox News that Fox News is actually saying that Trump lost, but you know, according to the WWE, you know, they he'd win. I mean, imagine if here's here's how you get more ratings on these things, folks. He Trump should debate Hillary Clinton, and whoever loses should have their head shaved. They should shave the other guy's head, right? And then you'll have Vince McMahon running for vice president. This is so That's fake. Right. It is and then Donald card. Trump will come running out like he did years ago at WWE and and start punching. Exactly. I mean, that's that's what it is. You that's- know who wouldn't last in that fight, though? Because I noticed how incredibly short Rand Paul is. I mean, that guy's a midget. That guy is a midget. You know, when you- hey, I think Hillary... Hitlery Clinton is taller than Rand Paul. Yes, and she's tougher than him too. And he sounds like he's, oh, totally. She was like dealing like drugs and like you know backing up her her husband after he assaulted Lord knows how many women. Yo, well, what about that picture of um, Hitler that we found in pre predating his appointment as chancellor when he was it was in nineteen fourteen and he was found in the crowd. He is shorter than everybody, looking just like Rand Paul, with the same dweeby face. 
Oh my God! And he hiled Hitler on Fox News. Though as soon as they put the camera on this kooky college kid who would Midget. who would kidnap who kidnapped a woman who was so scared is she doesn't want to come out. That- no, it happened. He kidnapped a woman in high school. And when he went to Baylor University, where he did not graduate, he was just a, a Masonic frat kid there, like his daddy, Ron Paul, who loves Nambla, Nambla. okay, with uh, Labda Chi Alpha, and this guy was in the Nose Brotherhood. But he actually, as soon as they put, as soon as Fox Nazi News put the camera on this Lebensborn, Rand Paul, he was hiling Hitler for at least five seconds straight. And we got the pictures, we ladies got a lot and gentlemen. Of snaps. We got the pictures, and Rand. Oh, buddy, old pal, you're going down. Well, you better go. You better go hug Obama right now. Just like, just like uh, Bill Hicks uh, is hugging Obama right now. He's like, oh my God, they found out I worked for Obama. That's a, that's just a funny meme that you made. Obama. But you know, when you look, when you go and you find pictures of Hitler, he's not doing. He's there's a few with his arms still straight out. Right. But when he was like kind of around the crowds, he opened up his fingers a little bit. So that's what Rand did. It, you know, and, and from what we were finding out, somebody said there was some research that didn't they pin... You sound like the Baroness sometimes from G.I. Joe. He, he opens up the, the hands. Uh, continue. Yeah. Didn't they... <laughs> didn't like Henry Macau like attribute oh, uh, that, Rand Paul... That anti-Semitic turd. Yeah. But didn't, didn't he attribute Ron Paul... As being one of the Liebensborn of Hitler or something like that. Did, I think there was some of that. So that maybe that's out there. This is like a possibility. Like we don't know, but like we don't. And I'm not a hundred on it, but, but I am a hundred on a lot of things. But the fact is, is that it was out there, and we and I did some physiological trace. And the fact is that the Lieb, Operation Liebensborn, their whole contention was to produce as many children as possible, to get them in key positions so they can master every one of us. Yeah. It is a fourth, the Fourth Reich. Forget the New World Order. Oh, they it's won, the they won the war. Reich. It's the Operation Liebensborn. The, all the people telling you New World Order, New World Order, they just mean Fourth Reich, Fourth, fourth Reich, look, Liebensborn. Look, look, Jaja, look, New World Order sounds very appealing to somebody who's from yeah. South Africa. Somebody who's from Saudi Arabia. So if, wrestling. if you go up to them, if you go up to these one of these guys in Saudi Arabia and Lebanon and freaking uh, Australia, no, Australia, they're down with that. Um, Mexico, uh, El Salvador. You go any of those places, right? Uh, New World Order doesn't sound appealing to those guys. Those guys are brown or black or whatever. You know, because what, what New World Order really is, is the Anglo-American establishment. Actually, that doesn't sound appealing to these guys. So New World Order does sound appealing. Oh, My bad. Right, okay, <laughs> right, right, right. You meant the opposite. That's exactly. Right. But you said the whole thing last night, <clears throat> excuse me, was was totally scripted. Absolutely it, scripted. It looked... WWE, Republican, GOP. Unbelievable. And every single one of them was a no-win. Every single one... If you go... Back, I challenge any of you to scroll back from like eight, ten years ago. Challenge. Listened to what you heard in arguments, in, as intellectual arguments, comparatively to what we heard last night, which was probably the most listened to, entertaining, uh, the most GOP, electrifying, riveting, uh, revolutionary, right? Force captivating. <laughs> You know, it was. Oh wait, that's our show. It was not sensational. The GOP. No, but it was really sensational. I mean, right on our talk stream live. Oh, yeah. Trump, Trump. Every he red and black, red and black. Trump, Trump, Trump. You know, this man is a propaganda king, and let me tell you, he's a great actor. Okay, Al- Albert Spears Spawn. Okay, that's is a right. great actor. He's got a very Albert Spears like chin. More than that, he looks like the Martin Sheen, and I traced them the, tra- yeah. the, Mar- the whole Martin anyway, Sheen. Anyway, leave- continue. But this wow. guy is so. Such a great um, showman. He has such a... The freaking apprentice. Incredible person. what America wants. They're so disenfranchised, Americans are, with politics. They're so disillusioned with the just the whole political thing that they want reality TV politicians. And these guys are giving it to them. You got the, the midget Rand Paul with chainsaws and this idiot, the apprentice, with a fake wig. The piñata. Yeah. Donald El Mamon... El puto Trump. Yeah, Trump. That's right. 
you know, and he's just unfreaking believable because he's so captivating. Like, I'm just telling you that everybody wanted to see him. They're cheering him on, but you really look at the guy. He's totally unelectable. That shit was so funny what he said about Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Okay, but do you want your president, do you want him to say, first of all, do you want him to go into Congress and go, you're fired? Do you want him to go to Nancy Pelosi? Oh, definitely. You look That'd like be nice. you're getting fat, you ugly bag. I mean, this guy has a mouth on him like me, <laughs> all right? And that's, I mean, <laughs> and he's, do you want your president to have own beauty pageants? Do you want your president to have stakes in waterfront property? Do you want your president to say publicly in a GOP debate that he uses, manipulates the law because he knows business law. He said it twice. He even lied about his bankruptcy. He admitted to taking advantage of the law. He said he knows the law so well that he can work around it, in it, with it, cherry pick it, do whatever he needs to do to get what he wants. Look, this debate was for losers. That's why they had it in Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, none of their teams win. The Browns suck. The Cleveland Indians suck. The Cavaliers couldn't even beat the freaking Oakland, uh, Golden State. You know what I'm saying? Warriors, whoop, whoop, California, West Coast right there. But, what's that? But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, why, why aren't they asking for Donald Trump's birth certificate, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, his father really. going to say uh, Britney Spears on it? Exactly. No, it's true. <laughs> Albert, Albert, Albert Einstein Spears? Yeah. Oh, that's, that was his uncle? That, you know, some things like that. No, it wasn't his uncle. <laughs> Albert I was just Spears. joking about that. It probably was his on his mother's side because I did research into his father's side. So Trump does come out as a legitimate name because there's a lot, a lot of information. There's a long-standing family. But see, his father was probably, you know, American, businessman, wealthy. His mother, I, I'm, I'm still very unc unclear. It's cloudy. But there's definitely a physiological trace, and not only physiological, but also, you know, his position of power to the Spears family, which is, you know, they had about six kids or five kids, some of them being, one of them definitely being Martin Sheen. He looks like Martin Sheen, also looks like Britney Spears' father, okay? And so, you, they look like brothers, Donald Trump and well, Britney that's Spears. The, that's the Illuminati bloodline. Yeah, right it's there. one of the big ones. But you know what was it with Albert Spears? He actually said he was sorry. Oh, he said for the he Jews was sorry for, the, for for killing so many yeah. Jews. Yeah, he had. A you know what else they talked about? They talked about trannies in the military. You believe that? Now they actually want and to cut days. off, cut off these commandos, freaking ding dongs, put them on their head, and just like have them run around with lasers for balls. I don't know what what are they going to do with that? I mean. I mean, they got enough gays in the military already. Now they want to cut their, their ding-dings off? Uh, the, the freaking pink triangle club weirdos? What's going on with that? Yeah, it's the, the level of... What's it. Caitlyn Jenner done well, to that, America? That's what it is. We're living in Kardashian's butt, okay? Oh, we are living in a her... Trolls, uh, uh, anal cavity. Go Gollum... Uh, okay, that's Gollum's where you're... ass. Yeah, because it's a joke. My precious, my precious. What's that? That's the smell. Smell that I vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what did, um, what's his face? He rolled his eyes when they asked him about Hillary. He's a total Clinton operative, Donald Trump is. Look, look, you idiot Americans, okay? I am not an idiot American. I'm awake, and I know that Donald Trump is a mamon, maricon, just windbag, just like Ross Perot. What happened with Ross Perot back in the day? They had some crazy freaking Mama Luke out there to divide, the, supposedly divide the Clintons against the Bushes, right? And then who did that enable the presidency for? The Clinton. You, know, you need to study the past. That's exactly what Donald Trump is. He is a Clinton enabler. He is going to be the one that co-ops the Republicans because we know that the Republican record on liberty is pathetic, ladies and gentlemen. They are pathetic. They're a bunch of freaking water boys. <laughs> I got a wooden spoon. <laughs> okay, they're a bunch of idiots, the Republicans. They, they are morons, buffoons. It's like the three stooges out there. 
Okay, they're all a bunch of retards. Yeah, yeah. None of them really. None have. of them stand a chance. None of them are. They didn't know, bring up one. That's why I'm so sad. The libertarians have been co-opted as well because you know people like Gary Johnson. I really, I mean, but they don't let the third parties debate. That's where you see the left, false left right paradigm. They, they only give you two choices. Hey, it's uh, Burger King or McDonald's, Pepsi or Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. Pick. You have, many, you have many options. Exactly. Yeah, they all it. fill the pockets of the of the Pope and the freaking Queen of England at the very top of the Illuminati pyramid. Yeah, so even these so-called positions are already occupied. Every, all of these positions are occupied. And you know what they say about politicians. If you see their lips moving, you know that they're not telling you. Right, truth. and if you cut the word politician in half, you get policy and you get tick. It's exactly what these people are. They're blood suckers. They're blood suckers, folks. But funny ones at that. I mean, what did he say? He said when it comes, they asked him when it comes to women, you've called them fat pigs, dogs, and slobs. Said uh, Bimbo at eleven from the Illuminati card game, and then he said uh, only Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> but the thing is, Bruce, is that he that was funny. Uh, he, okay, so we have a comedian. But the fact is, is that he, if you elect this man. This lying politician. This who, pompous ass. Who has stakes, which you know he's not, never going to beat Hillary. Okay, but if, the, but if you if you go ahead and elect him, this man has declared bankruptcy and he has, he owns, um, monopolizes waterfront property, all kinds of building enter enterprises. He already states that he, can, he knows how to work the law and you're going to vote for a man... Who wants more power than Buffett and Ted Turner? Oh, no, thank you. No, I don't need you. a president that knows more law than Congress all put together. I don't need it. I don't need a man that's got more money. To, he's got the best Jewish lawyers at his fingertips. I'll tell you something. This butt dumpling is a comedian, though, because they had a, they had a special. Yelp had some type of coupon special that whenever Donald Trump said Mexico, people would get free tacos. I mean, what the hell is happening? Is this like... Freaking Staples Center, L.A. Laker game, you know, the home team wins, everybody gets jack in the box. I mean, wh what the hell is this? Yeah, well, they're buying their votes. I mean, Hillary also, she, I heard somebody saying, oh, yes, I'm so uh, in love with her. It was some ex-CIA agent that was on a talk show. She was talking about how personable Hillary is because she stepped out and made that phone call while she was working in the CIA to say, keep doing your job. You're doing great. Yo, what's up with, with Kanye? We're taking a picture. Uh huh. What uh, is up with these? Like people? we said, it's propaganda, and just it's propaganda. These guys are look like you were saying. If Trump were to get in, okay, I'll tell you, he, him, and disgusting fat pigs like Kelly Osborne want to say all this crap about Mexicans, but you know they love Mexicans. Trump, Trump knows that the CIA runs the drug trade. They they run El Chapo, okay? They allowed him, they gave him the Super Mario cheats on how to go around the tunnels and, you know, all that. And it's as clear as day, ladies and gentlemen, that if this guy were to go in, he would not be an uh, enemy of the psychopathic Mexicans that are criminal and are part of the Illuminati CIA industrial complex. So everybody working for him. He'll just have enslaved people even more. Exactly. And you know, you know, speaking of enslavement and the whole Rand Paul thing with uh, with the fact that he, um, what was I talking about before with? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, Rand Paul heiling Hitler. Exactly. And the and the Constitution. Exactly. The fact that this guy. The whole, the whole mess of him and the fact that he is of this nature, controlling and the whole... Okay, let me break it down for you guys. It's a lot. but And you just calm down, Bruce, okay? And hey, don't hey. interrupt me because it's, it's, it's really what I want to get to, okay? Now, Ron Paul, his whole ideology is messed up because they all want to scream it about abortion, all right? And the fact is, and they also, in the same breath, they want to talk about welfare, and they want to get rid of welfare, and they want to stop people from having abortions. Those two do not equate. Now, this is a, it's a psyop, my friends. If you, I lived in Brazil, okay, you want to see, you want to see a country that proliferates 
babies and has no welfare, they will be, they will be, the babies, the, they'll run the, rampant, they will they'll run, run rampant. roughshod all over it. It will crack America at its seams, okay, without people having the ability to choose their own choice of their body. That's all, you know what, they have to, women have to, their own right, okay, don't abuse it, That, but you know what, in the end, if you abuse it, you have to answer to God, and, and that's it. But who needs, if you can't afford it, and you are, if it makes your life, if it debilitates you as a, as a female to have a child, you shouldn't be made feel, to feel guilty by misogynistic scumbags like Trump, and they all want to bring up the... They're just a cult wanna, of... Per, look, calm down. They're, they're, they're just a cult of personality. They're all just megalomaniacs, okay? And they want to ruffle the feathers of... Of women, of everybody. That's what Republicans do. Don't you understand? Well, yeah, That's one of their they want... key talking points. They hate women. That's why they're all a bunch of closet, look... boy-loving, pedophile, P two Masonic idiots. Idiots, and they look so dumb. They're gonna. They made. They made Hillary shine. Okay, that's, that's the, the name of the game. I know. Sweetheart. That's what I'm trying to say. It's so scripted that their stupidity and their level of idiocy talking about dead baby parts. I mean, just to the level of. Well, there is Stupid. something pretty sick, though, because Planned Parenthood does target, uh, like, neighborhoods that are high with, like, you know, black citizens, uh, Latino citizens. You see them in those areas. Well, a lot of them don't have enough education to know how to use contraception, and they and nobody's dragging them there, Bruce. Nobody's putting their gun to yeah, their head and saying they have to the, go. Now you have the Vatican writing bills and writing laws talking about they want to create a, a Vatican care. Forget about Obamacare. Now they want Vatican care, okay? So all of this basically goes back to all the ancient the ancient Canaanites and the times of Lilith and Baal worship where Moses would be like beating people upside the head because they were freaking putting babies in the hands of these golden Baphomet Moloch statues. Oh, but Bruce... That's, it's modern day Baal worship. Bruce, They're, stop dissing the Pope. I mean, he said this week, if we ever break up, that he will lo just lovingly, oh, he'll welcome me back. lovingly welcome you back. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. <laughs> All right, I didn't forget about... Bastards like Torquemada. I didn't forget what they did in the Inquisition, ladies and gentlemen. I am reinvigorated, reassimilated, and I'm here to kick some pulp ass. Absolutely. Okay. But this but Rand Paul... That's what they all are. They're cult of personality. They're megalomaniacs. And this Rand Paul could very well be the great godson of, of Hitler himself. Exactly. You know, and what he's saying... Austrian is economics, folks, let me tell you something. I agree with Austrian economics and guys like von Hayek and Ludwig von Mises to a certain extent. But do I buy it, folks? Do I believe it? No, I don't. No. no Hitler no. came out of Austria. Hitler was Austrian. No, no. Austrian economics. No. See, that must be the, the template for the... Third Look, right. these bastards don't care about you. They don't care about Americans. They want to rule the world. Yeah. They're all wearing black and red because that those are the Nazi colors. I mean, this loser, let me just explain to you what, and then the truth movement is screaming, oh, oh yes, yeah. yes, Rand Paul mentions the Bill of Rights, and he's behind, then they said he's behind the Constitution. No, my friends, he said he's exactly. behind the Bill of Rights, okay? He thinks that slavery should still be in, you know, instituted in this country and That's allowed. That's why he's in Kentucky, because he's like a redneck tree hugger. Yeah! He just wants the first ten, ten amendments to the Constitution. So this is such a well, There's charade. nothing wrong with those. Only? Sure. Well, what about freedom? Okay, yeah, you can have freedom to speak. Freedom the to first speak. ten are vital. They're, you, they're, be, they mean everything, You're actually. behind the whole Constitution. Even the first five, you know, absolutely. But, you know, it's been... You can't have one without having two, without having three, without having four, now. without having five. You still have your freedoms in every single one of them. You can't, you can't have the right to have free expression without having the right to protect yourself, like like by either a gun or you or your copyright law. So that's why you need freedom of speech. You need, in order to have freedom of speech, you got to have uh, the freedom to bear arms. So I got to have big old grizzly bear arms in order to be able to freedomly speak. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But anyway, you keep mentioning the midget Rand Paul. And wasn't it funny to see the little midget go up against a bit, big old great fat person like Krispy Kreme, Chris Christie? Yeah. I wish they put them next, right next to each other. When we oh, saw my them, God. When we saw them, actually, you could see their height difference. When they put Rand Paul next to Donald Trump, 
and you could see his tie and his shoulders in relation to the the pedestal. And it was he's such a shrimp, my God, that is so not this is not an Hillary elegant is taller than him. It's not a nice, strong, powerful figure <laughs> that you can like feel that confident that he could give orders to the military and talk to Congress. This guy stands out for thirteen hours pulling toilet paper out of his butthole. Oh my god. You know, filibuster, Philip I mean, that whole event was just sponsored by the CIA, sponsored by the NSA, Facebook. I mean, they have some nerve, Krispy Kreme, Chris Krispy, and Rand Paul to go up there and talk about this uh, illegal surveillance system on Americans when their sponsor is the biggest violator of what they're talking about. Facebook and all these other social medias, Mark. Zuckerberg and all these other guys that are selling your private information and you just love it ladies and gentlemen don't you but you know what we could not since we don't have TV was really interesting is that we looked around we tried to go right traditional style Went right, on right the to internet. talk stream live to listen to the debate just like you can go to talk stream live to listen to us yeah go and on. I went to Facebook thank you for taking what I was gonna say but I went to talk stream live I went to Facebook and just to try to find the the radio, the where to find, where to listen or see them because they made a big advertisement. Everybody was complaining on their Facebook. They didn't even put their, their talk stream live link. I went ahead and put it. I'm like, wait a second, we're on talk stream live, you know. And I know that we watch Fox and we listen to them sometimes to catch up on Geraldo's trash and O'Reilly's crap. Oh so, yeah. So I mean, and I was like, wait a second. That wait. Freemasonic uh, broken chair faced idiot. Yeah. I can't believe how they didn't proliferate. They didn't even push talk stream live. They could have done a, them a service too. Well, what do you mean? I mean, they're obviously working with Trump every five seconds. No, they no, got no. A Trump Trump's ad up there. Wrong, wrong. Trump's works with them. Trump, Trump pays anyway, them. Anyway, there's got to be something wrong with a, a presidential debate when Bimbo at eleven and Chris Walrus, the the anchors <laughs> uh, of Republican Idol, this reality TV politics hour on Fox News, get more speaking time than the presidential candidates. There's got to be something wrong with that. These guys blabbered on for like 30 minutes. Everybody else got like five minutes, six minutes, uh, no minutes. Because they didn't have anything to say. They're not that smart. They're entertainers. I mean, look at Huckabee this week. You, you oh mentioned it, the God. ovens, last week. We didn't talk about it last week, and it happened about, you know, eight or nine days ago. But Mike Huckabee, you know, we also have him traced to Kevin Spacey. It doesn't look like Kevin Spacey's got a very German chin. Yeah, and we have like <laughs> we have a Nazi look alike for the for the whole family. So you know, as soon as we we had already caught Spacey a while ago, and then this Huckabee comes out. I took a look. I said, like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that that's uh, Spacey's cousin. That's that's he's an uncle or something like that." So he comes out. And talks about the ovens. And then Hillary Clinton comes out and says she's personally insulted. I want to know why that Liebensborn Hillary thinks that she is personally insulted by the mention of ovens. You know why, Hillary? Because you know what I clipped up this week. The fact that your family was connected to the Heydrich, Reinhardt Heydrich. She's got a very ger German chin. <laughs> no, you know what? Her smile and her hair texture and her eyes, and this is amazing, is so identical to, to the wi Wicked Witch of the West yeah. or the East. Well, you know, it's the Wicked Witch of the West, but <laughs> it really is. If you look up Lita, Lita Heydrich, okay, that's the last name, is the Heydrich. And Heydrich um, was, uh, um, he was a crazy guy. He even had affairs with women, and he... Pretty much One of the work. masterminds of the Holocaust, actually. This guy was like, what is it, Operation Reinhard, whatever. Something like that. And he was he was a big pilot also, and he flew over to Italy and had affairs. And, True and scumbag. Was with a, a woman named Lita. And then her, who looks like the mother of Lena Wertmuller, who happens to look like Lady Gaga. Wow. Germanelli, Germanata, whatever her name is. So, we already know... That Madonna, there was already the conspiracy theory buzz that Madonna was related to Hillary. It was already like out there. So, but nobody knew Other how. Cousins. Nobody knew how. Nobody knew why. And and then the Gaga comes out mimicking, mocking, mocking bird um, Madonna with her template, with Madonna's template of success. 
and you know, there would seems to, and there was seems to be really no like ag, you know, insults to injury between Madonna and Gaga. You know, it just seems like norm the norm. Just go ahead and mock her and do her redo the same script that was successful prior, so they can make their money and get out. And let me tell you, when I went and looked up the Reinhardt family, uh, the Heydrick family, um, and I saw Lita Heydrick, she. In so many, first of all, in certain angles, I caught Madonna first. I was like, oh my God, they're in Madonna's face. And then, then I saw pictures of her with a black hat. And the black hat was so disgusting. And you know what it looked like, my friends? The Wicked Witch of the West. You look up Lita Heydrich, H-E-Y-D-R-I-C-H, and you will see the Wicked Witch of the West black hat. And she's hiring Hitler in some of them with the black hat. And if you look up the Wicked Witch of the West and you look up the pictures, they're copying the exact same expressions at the exact same angle, wearing the exact same hat, and I, it was the regardless the exact I same wonder, years. I wonder if Hillary Clinton is also in The Wizard of Oz. She's yes, that, and I'm, she's that little guy behind the, the green monster. You know, behind the curtain. No, <laughs> no and in fact... In Let me fact, tell you, those Fox fact, News idiots, they're really, they're really catering for her to come in. I mean, Rubio even said that he predicted that she's coming in, right? I mean, these Fox News people, they're really just catering to people that are like MK Ultra, like freaking Beyonce or something at Barclays. I mean, that's the type of people that listen to Fox News. Yeah. Yeah, well, let me tell you that... Lita Heydrich, um, she gave a few, she had a few children, and one of them was called Marta. And I looked up the what happened to Marta. She didn't die. There's no like lies like the Goebbels kids all took cyanide. No, yeah, sure. There's some just like little story that she disappeared off into this island and opened up a boutique. Nyeh! And no pictures, no nothing. Just had this little life. In fact, Marta became Dorothy. Right. From the Wizard of Oz. So, in fact, Dorothy is Hillary's Maza. Dear God. Yes. And if you look up the young pictures of Marta Heydrich, you will see she looks the spitting image of Dorothy, which is the, the Dorothy Rodham Clinton, and somebody else had connected Radaus, Rodham to... Um, the uh, it was a Polish name that was changed and and just made sense to me. So I went and did a a, a search at all. They all they all have very German chins, don't they? Yeah, and the same smile. Everything you can you can do your own research. You pull this up. It's it's mind blowing and it makes sense because they're all in these positions of power and propaganda and they all seem to have the greatest sense of charisma and they have so much. They just seem to have an agenda on their shoulders and they know they're getting. And guess paid. who is working? For the Wicked Witch of the West, Donald Trump. Donald Trump who says... And gay fish, man. Yeah, man. And that guy, too. Donald yeah. Trump Donald Trump says that the system is broken. This, this same Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen, gave the Clintons money and invited them to his wedding. Okay, you saw it there. How he was just unabashedly just... Smirked and said, "Yeah, I'm hedging my bet. I'm hedging my bets on the Clintons, man. I'm a gambling man. I got Trump Casino in Las Vegas. Do you want a president that y'all owns better casino? recognize? You are going to be his slave. He is the boss. He let you know that you're fired. He says it better than Vince McMahon. Just because, <laughs> just because you like his personality, doesn't mean that he's not lying through his teeth and trying to gain more power and control Total on Earth. Scumbag." I mean, none of these guys are are even potentially, uh, you know, none electable. of them. None of them, have, none of them are electable. They're just complete trash, run of the mill, garbage. Facebook, CIA sponsored, NSA Republicans. That's what they are. But it was funny to watch them. I mean, it was fun. It was good. Hey, it was listening. entertaining. Chris Christie has a nice voice. I think he's a nice speaking voice. Oh God. Okay, and I think you're wrong. When, it, when about it's not so when it's not stuffed with Krispy Kreme donuts, that you, guy is a fat no, obese okay, walrus. Okay, leave him alone there. Okay, I'm not. His, I don't think I'm so. not his fan, but he looks way thinner than he ever looked before. He must have lost 150 pounds. That's how. That's how much he, he was spends. Ginormous. That's how much he spends on Krispy for. Kreme. Okay, for dessert. But you know, it was also tacky. Is because he is larger than everyone else, and they put <laughs> and they put him up front. 
and they put him up front. And I didn't, I thought that was kind of like humiliating. And I think because why do they have to put the biggest man right up in front where everybody can look and discuss this freaking waist size? I think that's tacky. You have to look at everything, my friend. You have to see all the positions. You know what he looks like? He looks like that pig from The Sopranos that's hanging from that. Uh, Didn't that, you meet Bobby that, Bacalari? That meat, that meat shop. <laughs> Stop talking about fat people. You met, you like Bobby Bacalari. He even gave you two spoons with his signature on it. Yeah, he's cool. He, you know what? If it, they even that's funny you said that because they said that he would be the best actor to play Chris Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> yeah, he looks like him a little bit. And we met a him a lot of bit. Yeah, he looks like him a lot. Have you met him at Whole Foods? Hey, maybe he's Jones? Chris Krispy's um, cousin. Maybe he's a Lebensborn. He's another fake Italian, too. Oh, man, all these fake guidos. Oh, my God. Uncle Steve's pasta, pizza, and sauce is Hey, yo, Paulie, <laughs> hey, you got your head kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look, there's another thing I find um, We're just a pretty, pretty, gallery here. pretty just... bizarre, okay? The fact that Bill Cosby attacked Donald Trump, and now Donald Trump's running for president, and Bill Cosby is in ruins. Yeah. I think Donald Trump got some get back there, some Illuminati get back. Something's weird. I mean, first of all, black man is, you know, black man. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, the white man's always trying to keep him down. Yeah. And, and <laughs> they, they, they had dirt on him. They're not going to let you in unless they have dirt on you. Not, they will set you up with a sickest, most humiliating story for you, catered, tailored, specifically for you. And that every single one of those people in Hollywood that puts a freaking finger above their lips, okay, you know what that means, my friends? Why are they putting their finger up on front of their lips like they want you to keep a secret? They don't want you to keep a secret. They want the people around them to keep the secrets. They, they're they keeping secrets on everyone else. They know that their reputation is at stake. They're keeping if, secrets and they're not silent, folks. Yeah, they are silent. They're right in your face. No, but they are. These people are. They're not talking about their 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 secrets. They're not talking that they have. Well, I met they're just a bunch of loud mouth megalomaniacs on Fox News. They're pretty loud. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They're big mouths. Right. They're just big. They mouths. wear their black and red suits and they don't care. They. I do. See, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally the Pink Floyd, the wall. Everywhere you look, you know, it's. And you know, we need to tear down the walls, too. Just a bunch of freaking water boy Republicans that think Obama is the devil, if you ask me. That's the audience they're, they're catering to. People like uh, Bobby Boucher mm -hmm. <laughs> and, his, and his dear sweet mama and Colonel Sanders and all those people. And also the misogynist people that hate women. So Oh, yeah. You know, they're trying to attract... All, all of Rush Limbaugh's audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is once again time to talk about the Pope. It's Pope Watch 2015. We'll go back to the Fox News thing. But, Ja, what do you think about the Pope? Everybody uh, getting their uh, panties in a bunch here about the Pope, especially Congress, They're, like throwing their underwear at this freaking bald pedophile of a Pope. It says here, Congress plans presidential welcome for Pope Francis. And so he's supposed to arrive here during a... Uh, blood, moon, so you know these Rosicrucian John D. followers, I mean, they got something, they got something planned, and it's just disturbing, you see the whole carbon tax agenda with this Pope, okay, he's part of a secret society, a ninth circle secret society, he's a Jesuit, probably the Jesuit. oldest order, the most evil order that runs supreme, ladies and gentlemen, they've, the they have complete control of the Jesuitical educational institutions, the military industrial complex, government finance. I mean, this Pope, that their bank, ladies and gentlemen, the Vatican, the Vatican Bank was instrumental in orchestrating the Great Depression. I mean, how much power does this Pope have? I mean, he's it's not the pretty Pope, much the it's, president. It's the Vatican, though. It's the Vatican that has the power. I mean, he's the real president. It's a separate, isn't the UK. You know, and the and Washington D.C. and the Vatican all like within they have the, their own little separate cities. Um, all its own. Yeah, they sovereign, have their own jurisdiction, right? right yeah. Sovereignty, so yeah. jurisdiction that can be that has its own legal law that's all connected to the Pope. 
and it's all, I mean, the Vatican. So it's all this, that, that's the order. That is the New World Order. But really, who's running it is the Fourth Reich right now. Well, the Fourth Reich was created because of the Vatican and the Pope. Okay, these guys got away because uh, of people in the Vatican who signed these treaties to send them to South America and strengthen relations between the Catholic Church and Germany. I mean, it goes back in the rat lines, folks. Okay, the rats are here, and now they're feasting Yeah, on us. That's right. That's right. I mean, what's the solution, though? I mean, not to buy strobel foods. What is the solution besides trying to sell somebody, uh, you know, a dream of a Their power is a so garden? immense nowadays. I mean, you even have uh, one of the members of the German Nazi Scherf family that's running, again, another one of these dynastic criminal uh, criminal Illuminati families, Jeb Bush. Oh, I earned the right for them to call me Jeb. Yo, what's they, up with that they Corleone? Call him, they call him Vito Corleone, he says in Florida. Okay, so there you see it, how just blatant he is. Oh, yeah, I'm a gangster. And those of you that know Godfather 3, you've watched Godfather 3, they actually had a Knights of Malta ceremony where they gave Al Pacino a Knights of Malta Iron Nazi cross. Yeah, it's a Nazi and cross. And that guy was a freaking organized crime member. That's, there's no difference with these politicians, okay? These these people want to reach out to us and say they're one of us, and but they don't live like us. They have millions and billions of dollars, and they spend millions of these dollars trying to convince us that we are like them. Go to Talk Stream Live right now. What does it say? Uh, Trump making America Nazi again. Exactly. What colors is he wearing? The same colors. Actually, they're the colors of, of sacrifice. What are they sacrificing? America. Black, white, and red. Those are Masonic Illuminati colors that represent that there is a sacrifice or some type of killing that will happen. Hmm. Okay, and... So it's red, well white, blue, and black. It's red, white, blue, and black. All these guys... Well, the, he's a blue blood. He, he thinks he's Nazi royalty. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it just it just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, these people are relentless. We are living in 1988. They live, literally. I mean, what did I see the other day, Job? Was when we were walking down the street, and uh, we saw I saw a taxi cab that had a an advertisement for this show. It's going to be on USA. It's called Mr. Robot. And it said, privacy is a myth. Yeah. And it's got like a guy looking at you. You just see the, like, the front of the face. And then well, there's, we're a, watching and there's yeah, another there's, advertisement. There also they have messages. a face. They have a, uh, this guy wearing a, of course, a tux. A tux is like representative of, of the brotherhood. Okay. It doesn't mean that when you wear a tux, you're part of the brotherhood. It just means that they wear tuxes. And it, the guy's face is just filled with like cut out eyeballs. I mean, they are... They are relentless with the subliminal. Yeah, what about this train wreck thing? This this train wreck poster with the woman with her. That's finger. right. We walked by the subway, and that that is where they had the shooting. It, it, it was in it a was subway. Showing, no, 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 no. It was in a movie theater. Right. But the picture was in the subway. The advertisement for the train wreck movie, and she's she's uh, flashing a number one sign, which with is basically uh, just. Uh, Vatican, Nazi, Illuminati uh, hand signals, yeah. and then the other guy, you just see, like, his left eye, and the other one's covered up. I mean, these people are just in your face. And didn't she have her finger over her lips, too? Well, yeah. Yeah, so she was keeping a secret, and she's, so she's basically telling And now you, she's coming out to trying to take your guns. Yeah, so this happened. Yeah, it, it it doesn't she look like, doesn't she look like Miss Piggy, too? She uh, kind of looks like Miss Piggy well, they from, dressed her uh, in from the, the Muppets. Right, they dressed her in the same thing as uh, what's her name? Um, with the candy, the um, the That's singer, right. with the candy boobies with with Snoop, the famous one. The I one, don't know, the one K that I Katy hate. Perry. Yeah, that one. <laughs> she looks like her when she was on the Muppets. Exactly. They, they put them all in the same outfit. It's Only fatter, because I mean, that uh, man, that that Levin's born is a, a big fat. She looks like Kelly Clarkson. Who? The one from Trainwreck. No, she's not. 
No, you didn't <laughs> see it on TV. Nah, that's just a photo. Anyway, they're they're going for gun control and they're just relentless. I mean, what what was the Pope's now got people like de Blasio, the worst mayor in the history of New York City. I mean, the place has been overrun by bums. I know the Brooklyn Dodgers came from here and they were bums, but I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, you guys have been over swarmed with bums. Something's going on. Something is going on, definitely going on. I don't know if it's the the city. The city's going to hell. I mean, you go outside, you smell it, and it's just like, it's so toxic, I can smell it. I mean, it's like a toilet. Well, I don't know. I mean, right now, is the Blasio, what is he, Italian, Mexican? You said he's like a million different things. He's He's a Lebensborn. What do you mean, Mexican? I don't know. If if he's Mexican, then he might be Sephardic, mm. right? Well, I know that the mayor before the we one, ran there. The, the one that, that everybody thinks is Jewish, was not Jewish. Okay, Mr. Bloomberg, if you pull up Goebbels, okay, Paul Joseph Goebbels, and then look at his brother, look up Joseph Goebbels' brother, looks exactly like. Goebbels' brother. So it's Michael. It was um, something Goebbels. I don't remember right now, but it was his brother. Exactly. And he looks a spitting image. And that brother, let me tell you about Joseph, Joseph Goebbels' brother. He was had an incredible career involved with the military, involved with investments, involved with uh, the government planning. He was such an entrepreneur. He was a powerful guy. He had 10 things going on in his life. Joseph, Paul, uh, Paul Joseph Goebbels is, uh, I was about to say Paul Joseph Watson's brother. Oh but, my. No, Paul Joseph Goebbels' brother. Same, same family. Yeah. So, but he came, when he came here, it looks like that he came here also on Operation Paperclip, switched his name to Michael Goldberg, because I went and did a search on, on, uh, Bloomberg's father, and there's only one little picture, and he died in like 63, which would be perfect timing for the age to die if he was like a sick, a sickly guy at 66 or something like that, if he was living during the time of Hitler, and it would just have been, the dates are, are perfect, the face is perfect, and the positions are perfect, and Bloomberg had an exorbitant amount of money, an exorbitant amount of power, and he pushed for that extra term in New York, which was un- Freaking real. When, when is New York going to realize the error of their ways and stop electing liberal trash after liberal trash after liberal trash like these guys? Freaking uh, Di- Diablasio. When is it going to stop? I mean, it's never going to stop because you guys have the... We, ha- we have the UN parked right outside our, do- our doorstep. This yeah. criminal Marxist enterprise. And you you spoke about entrepreneurs earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go to antiqueobsessions.com and... No, 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 no. It's not antiqueobsessions.com. It's Etsy. Well, go go there too. No, just go to Etsy, E-T-S-Y, and then type in Antique Obsessions. Or go to Google and type in Antique Obsessions. And you can... You need a woman's voice to advertise stuff better. It sounds sexier. You can get 30% off this week. Off 30, off of the most gorgeous Tiffany's, repurposed sterling. Um, I've got everything from Steve and Kirk, all this old beautiful repose from earrings to necklaces to pendants to bracelets and cuffs and armlets. And then we have um, on the other Etsy store, Conceptual Subculture, you can use Bruce 40, and that's 40% off. And it's all like Burning Man, Tribal, Primitive. Uh, just amazing, cool earrings, uh, bracelets. One of a beaded. kind, just like us, ladies one and gentlemen. Of, just like this show is one of a kind. And most of all, you must see the video. It came out. Absolutely. Let's talk about that. I mean, we we're we're hot. We look we look good. Yeah. We our first my first cameo. Bruce Montello's in the major, video. Major recording artist. It's here, so sexy. Getting some uh, getting some some hugs and some love. You even, my, my French friend from Paris even said, wow, I love when your faces are together. They look so sexy. So there's this whole scene where Bruce and I's face is just, well, I'm singing to him and our faces are like, you know, three centimeters apart and it's really hot. You know, I do this whole editing thing and it's really sexy and the light's nice. And, but yeah, you got to see it. The song is called Break the Door Down. And type in Jaja, that's J-A-H, J-A-H, no dash, 
And that's Ja Ja, like Ja Rastafari. So Ja Ja, break the door down. Listen to the track. If you like it, go support at iTunes. You can find me on iTunes I think you also. should give a shout out to the Latin American community because we do have fans in Mexico, the tune in. I mean, we got fans all in over. Brazil. We got fans in France. We got fans in South Africa, Mexico, the Netherlands, Germany. I mean, but, you know, we have uh, Brazil as well. Yeah, well, so, well my uh, song is Spanish. Uh, vamos y caballeros, escuchen al la track muy caliente de Jaja. Yes. Break the door down. That sounds like I should it's be in Univision. Now super I'm gonna get. Dang. Now I'm going to get sued Ew, by Donald Trump. Stuff. Mm. Muito <laughs> gostosa. Yeah. So that's how I spit in Portuguese, in English. It was sexy. And it was so in hot. Spanish. So hot. Just like this it's show. It's a great dance song. Check it out. Well, you know, that's what, exactly what they're going to do. They've been listening to the excellence of radio execution, Pitch. ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to Jaja. You've been listening to me, Bruce Montalvo, here on MBN Radio Network. Please tune in. We stream 24 7. Live on Spreaker and Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern on Talk Stream Live from the coolest city in the world, Brooklyn, New York. We this love is you Bruce guys. Montalvo <laughs> signing out, <laughs> reminding you and all you cheesy bastards to say I love, love you. Love you. I love you. To tune in to the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, the Bruce Montalvo Show. Take care, folks. Peace. Later. went to Whataburger freshman year. We realized that we were having a lot of fun and so we started putting out flyers saying Whataburger Social and it just took off from there and started getting really big. One of the weeks we got up to 65 people. We definitely have a lot of people that order the honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich, hearty chicken strips, Texas toast, the barbecue sauce pouring off the sides, cheese melts on top, delicious. The honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich, that's my all time favorite. Hey, Google Pixel fans, for a limited time, get both our Sprint Unlimited plan and the all-new Google Pixel 3a included for under $35 per month per line for five lines. All you need is approved credit, an 18-month lease, and a new line of service. Visit your local Sprint store, Sprint.com, or call 800-SPRINT-1 today. Phone 1107 per month after 556 per month credit. Apply within two bills. Remaining balance due if canceled early. Unlimited basic after 630.20. Pay $32 per month per line for five lines with auto pay. Data deprioritization during congestion excludes taxes, surcharges, and roaming. Speed maximums, use rules, and restrictions apply. 